Come on, lift those hands all over the house. Kantian Sokol Yabansa. Spirit of the Lord is brooding this place this morning. I can hear the Lord saying, I am the Lord thy God. I love him just for that. Yes. Yeah. I am the Lord thy God that have already brought thee out of the land of Egypt. Yes. Yes. Out of the house of bondage. Yes. Out from up under heavy taskmasters. Yes. For I am the Lord thy God that have brought thee out of the land of Egypt. Open thy mouth wide and I will fill it. I heard the Lord say, if you'll just open your mouth and just begin to give him praise with your mouth, with your mouth, you're going to leave today with a mouth full. Come on, open your mouth and just bless him. You are about to be a recipient of a new thing. This new thing is happening now. now. <laughs> and we know that whatsoever the Lord does, it is for infinity. Yes. Touch your neighbor and tell him I'm never going back to that. Never going back to Open that. your mouth and just bless God for it. Come on. There's the weight of the prophetic here. And we're not going to have to work it. It's going to work us. Yeah. Yes. I feel God shifting us and changing us into another man. Look at somebody and tell them, you don't know me like you think you do. Because this is the hour of transfiguration. Tell them I'm changing right now. Oh, I wish I had somebody changing that could receive right it. Come on, tell them I'm changing right now. Change and the change is not like going from Linda Carter to Wonder Woman or from David Bruce Banner to the Incredible Hulk. But the change that is happening is like the worm that turns into the butterfly. You know, after Linda Carter finished being wonderful, uh, Wonder Woman finished being wonderful, she go right back to being Linda Carter. After Clark Kent finishes being Superman, he goes back to being Clark Kent. Yeah. After David Bruce Banner turns into the Incredible Hulk and beats down everybody, he goes back to being David Bruce Banner. Yeah. But the Lord told me to tell you this new thing that he's doing in your life, yeah. what he's bringing you from, yeah. you never going back to that. I need somebody to open your mouth wide and let it out. Come on. Hallelujah. Grab somebody by the hand and shake them and tell them we're never going back to that. Mount Pakatian Sokoya. Open your mouth and bless him. Something is happening that's sealing the deal. Now I've been praying. I've been praying ever since we received the call to come and the Lord has just really given me a word for you and given me a word for the body of Christ yes. and I was sitting over there and the Lord said to me he said son I don't want you to get up and try to make anything happen he said they're ready Hallelujah. Because I can get up in my anointing, I can get up in my gift, I can make some stuff happen by myself. But because you're already ready, we don't have to make nothing happen, we just let it happen. The Lord said to me, I want you to stand up in your office this morning. He said, I don't want you to move outside of your office, I want you to stand up in your office and I want you to stand up in the grace that's on your life. And I want you to lead my people. Lead my people into this new anointing. Now something's going to happen here this week. I'm telling you, people of God, this is going to be a historic week 
for World Harvest Church. Yes and amen. Now y'all didn't hear it. Y'all yes didn't hear it. Yes is it all right? This is gonna be a historic week. Yeah. Miracle signs and wonders breakthrough. Yes And the Lord says, I'm doing a new thing today. Yes. Yes. Giving them a new grace. Yeah. That's what the last several weeks have been about. He's been preparing you for this new grace. Yeah. He's trying to get you used to the new norm. And he's giving you this grace because... He's not the only one that's getting ready to do a new thing. You get ready to do a new thing. God is doing his new thing, getting you ready so you can do a new thing. Touch somebody and tell them, you really don't know me like you think you do. You know the old me. You know the bar in me. You know the sick me. You know the me that's always been going through something. But there's a me that's getting ready to rise from the ashes of every trial. That's getting ready to rise from every test. There's a new me that God has created. That's getting ready to come out of the cocoon. And I'm going to do what you've never seen me do before. I'm going to go where you've never seen me go before. I'm going to yes. own what you've never seen me own before. Yes. yes, yes. It's not happening by the might of a man, nor by the power of a man, nor by the will of a man, but it's happening by my spirit that have been brooding this place. Yes, yes, yes. Saith the Lord. Now I want you to hear me. When you see me coming, and I'm going to let you see it, but when you see me coming, Know that a prophet never shows up unless he has an assignment. Yeah. I'm not one of those prophets that you see. I've never been like that. I've never been one of those prophets that just show up because I have an invitation. I turn down more invitations than I accept because everybody's not ready. Sure. And I don't have time to waste or time to go and try to force something. Right. And so we have to turn down invitations. When you see me coming, two things are going to happen. Number one, you can believe that people's hearts are going to be turned back towards God Hallelujah. and his servant. Hallelujah. That's my anointing. I'm gifted and anointed by God to turn people's heart back to God and back to his authority. Number two, second thing that's going to always happen when you see me coming is somebody going to get out of debt. And what they were in, they never going to have to go back to that. Amen. Amen. When God brought me out of debt in 2009, he put an anointing on my life and said, take this to my people. Yes. And for as many as will receive it, I'll give them power. That they'll never have to be in debt. You know, take your seat. I, I've been, I've been, thank y'all so much. Give Harvest, Harvest Music Live a great big God bless you. <laughs> Would you keep your eyes on me? Don't miss it. You know, I've been traveling and go many places and, and I'm hearing people say stuff like, you know, man of God, you were here and miracles just broke out. I was at one church in North Carolina and we led the people into their harvest, challenged them to give. People began to sow and the spirit of miracles just sat right down on that church. So much so that for six months after I left and this is a traditional church. It was one of those, you know, churches that you got to see signs and wonders. Six months after I left, they put a microphone down for the church and they started having good old-fashioned testimony service. 
Every service, people would walk in talking about how their debts got canceled. Is there anybody in here that's sick of debt? Now, don't fool me now because I got an anointing on my life and I'm ready to release it. I said, is there anybody in here that's sick of debt? Put a mic down and people testifying about how loans were supernaturally paid off and they begin to get receipts in the mail. How titles and deeds just showed up in the mail. How people that owed them, this is where I shout at, where people that owed them paid them back and paid them back with interest. Now you know that's a miracle. You ought to shout right there. It's one thing to lend your cousin them some money, but when they pay you back and pay you back with interest, you started testifying about how people who had businesses in one location sold the seed and businesses in multiple locations now. In six months, when God makes up his mind, he's going to do something. And he creates you a moment. Everybody say a moment. You can't be fitting to get ready. You know, that's a word from the South, fitna. I think it means fixing too. You can't be fitna. You got to be ready. And because this group of people was ready, miracles broke loose and all kind of miracles began to happen concerning the economy of their lives. And I tell you, I feel that anointing here this morning. Now, let me tell you, and I'm going to give this word, but let me tell you, while I'm preaching and ministering the word of the Lord to you, eight of you are going to feel strongly impressed to sow a $5,000 seed. Eight of you. When you feel that anointing, this is your prophetic instruction. When you feel that anointing, I don't care what you see me doing. You sow that seed, bring that envelope, sow that seed, put it in my hand. Numbers of you while I'm preaching this morning are going to feel prompted of the Holy Ghost to sow a thousand dollar seed. You're going to put that seed in an envelope. You're going to bring it, even if I'm back here preaching somewhere, you're going to bring it up on the platform. You're going to put it in my hand. The Holy Spirit already told me what to do. He already told me how to do it. How many of you know when you do it God's way, you always get results? Now, I don't need, listen, I don't need somebody saying, well, you know, I've never done that. I've never took a seed while the man of God was preaching and brought it up and put it in his hand. I never did that. You know, I won't do it today. If you miss the instruction today, then this new thing that God is doing now, you're going to miss it. Let me tell you why. Because the Lord has seen your tears. He has heard your prayers. And he called for this moment to give you an instruction that once you follow the instruction, what you've been through, it's over. Everybody shout it forever. You're going to sense the, the urge, the unction to sow. Take that envelope. Fill it out. Bring it to me while I'm preaching. In almost 30 years of ministry, you hear me? God has never told me to say that in the beginning of a service. He's never told me to do it like this. This is a new thing. But the Lord spoke to me and he says that I will follow him. See, I won't make no mistake about it, World Harvest. And those of you that are watching, it takes just as much faith to preach, for us to preach and believe God and trust God that when he says something, it takes as much faith for us to say it as it does for you to receive it and to do it. 
I've never did this, but the Lord spoke to me. He's been dealing with me for three days concerning this. He says, when you stand up, this is what you do in the very beginning of the service. He says, and if you will follow me, son, and this is what I love about it. He says, if you will follow me, it will be a deliverance that will hit the lives of the people. It will be a miracle economically for my people. And I'm going to shift them into a place that what I'm doing will never stop in their life. Everybody shout perpetual blessing. Everybody shout perpetual blessing. When the Lord speaks, I want you to bring it and put it in my hand. Hallelujah. That's a good seed right there. That's a good seed right there. I want you to bring it, put it in my hands, the Lord speak to you. Now listen to me very carefully. Because there's an anointing on me for this. And I'm going to preach. But there's an anointing on me for this. I remember when I was in so much debt that my wife and I, we couldn't sleep at night. Now that's a lot of debt. And the Lord spoke to me and told me to sow a seed in the service. I sowed that seed in 2009. God supernaturally, everybody shout supernaturally. He supernaturally made me debt free. And to that day, from that day to this day, I'm still free from the bondage of debt. I said, God, why did you do this for me? And the Lord spoke to me and said, I did it for you, son, because I'm going to send you around the world to set my people free from this bondage and the spirit of debt. Last several places I've been, I've heard preachers say stuff like, you know, and, and, and they love me. They meant well. They said, they would say stuff like, you don't want to be known for raising money. You don't want to be known for every time you show up, you're talking about money. And I said to them, no, I don't want to be known for it as you're speaking it. But I am a financial deliverer. There is an anointing on my life to get people out of bondage. And I want to be known though, watch this, I want to be known as one that God has raised up and have given that anointing that if people will follow the instruction that the miracle power that's on my life will get them out of their bondage. I said, so I know you mean well, I know you mean well, but what the Lord is doing in my life is so big, it's too big. That's a good seed right there. It's too big to be minimized. That's a good seed. God bless you. That's a good seed. God bless you. That's a good seed right there. God bless you. Listen, there, there are eight people that are in here. I'm going to preach, but I want to put it out there because I want to make hell nervous. There are eight people today that are seated in this room that are supposed to wrap your faith around a $5,000 seed and sow it. When you put it in the ground today, there's a word that the Lord told me to release. And you're never going back to where you come from. I prophesy over every one of these seeds that have already been sown, none of these will fall to the ground. And you will never go back to where you come from in the name of Jesus. Here, sweetheart, put the amount on there. Put the amount on there. Give her that back. I want to put the amount on there. The Lord bless you, sweetheart. Be careful what you put your hands on in this hour. You're going to get it. I heard the Lord say that. You're going to get it. That's a good seed. That's a good seed. That's a good seed right there. Glory to God. That's a good seed right there. Get your Bible. I want you to go with me somewhere. Get your Bible. I want us to look at Galatians 3 and 13. Galatians 3 and 13. Hallelujah. Stand up, young man, right there. 
The Lord told me to tell you that many things, come just a little bit closer, many things that have befallen you, many things that have been so uncomfortable, many things that have made you even to question not your relationship with God, but where is God? The Lord told me to tell you, I have allowed these things. I'm going back even the last 24 months, two years. I saw you climbing and pulling, fighting, trying to overcome. And the Lord spoke to me and he said, tell him, son, I could have fixed it that he never went through any of that. I could have just brought him forth. But like the little chiclet in the egg, if the chiclet, we could break the egg open and just let the chiclet out, but it would die. But it's pushing and fighting in the egg builds its muscle. It builds its body. It builds its fortitude until one day it busts its own self out. God spoke to me and said, tell him I could have got him out of it earlier, but I didn't because I was building something. I was building something. He said, sir, but tell him 2018, this eight month is the month of miracles now. Yeah. Ay, ay, ay. It's the month of miracles. And I'm getting ready to reveal to you and even make up to you everything that the locust and the canker worm, the caterpillar and the palmer worm have eaten. And the Lord told me to tell you, as I manifest myself tangibly, God, I feel the anointing. As I manifest myself now tangibly, it will be as if you've never went through anything. I call those walls down. Shaka, Hosea. Somebody open your mouth. I feel the power and the presence in here. Come on. I said, I feel the power and the presence. I feel a mighty anointing. I feel the power and the presence. It will be as if you've never been through anything. You know, theologians say, that when those walls came down, lift your hands, there's a mighty anointing on your life. Mighty anointing on your life. Here's your word. Whoo. When the walls of Jericho came down, there was not even proof that they had ever been there. Theologians say literally the ground opened up and swallowed the walls and then closed back up. The Lord told me to tell you everything that's been a wall and everything that's been trying to hold you in, it's not that you haven't been blessed or even is blessed now. The Lord said, but there's been some walls and the seed you sow today removes the walls forever and I put a spirit of acceleration on you that whatever you touch in this season oh God somebody open your mouth I feel him I feel him I feel him I feel him I'm trying to get somewhere I feel him that's a good seed right there lift your hands oh Shia every report now every report every report fails but the report of the Lord. My God, I wish I had to, uh, Oh, somebody, I have a report, but the report of the Lord. Somebody open your mouth and give him glory. That's a good seed right there. That's a good seed right there. That's a good seed. Somebody else supposed to sow that 5,000. Lift your hands, precious. Every tormenting spirit Everything that have come as a deterrent to your faith. 
The Lord said, I cancel it today by my mighty power. Oh God, I feel glory in here. There's a spirit that have come to try to make you weary, a spirit that have come to try to break you down, a spirit that have tried to come to destroy your faith. But the Lord said, the seeds you sown today have just secured your future. Uh, yeah, yeah, I wish I had, I wish I had. I wish I had somebody. Put your hands on her. Something is on you. Oh, Shia. Something is on you, woman. That's a good seed right there. Come here. Put your hands. The word of the Lord comes to you. And the Lord said, tell my daughter that this is the season that I'm fighting for her. I want you to hear me, precious woman of God. There are people around you that seemingly they can get stuff started and get stuff moving, but it don't go but so far. Start after this and start after that end up disappointed but the Lord told me to tell you the seed you just sowed this morning it just broke the arms and the legs off of Dagon I'm looking at these idols but I heard God says I brought every idol down and they're not your idols they're idols in people and those idols were set up as a distraction as a deterrent but I heard the Lord said, tell my daughter nothing lacking, nothing missing, nothing broken. God, I feel God in here. That's a good seed right there. There's somebody God speaking to. There's another person God is speaking to. That's a good seed. Come here, sir. Let me just put my hand in your hand. If someone was to give you something, which hand would you receive it in? I'm going to give you something. and I want you to take this hand that I'm going to give you something in. And I want you to lay it on everything that concerns you today. Are you hearing me? I hear the Lord said, tell him even, son, the walls are coming down. Fire! There it is right there. Somebody open your mouth and give him praise. Fear not! Fear not. For I shall do great and mighty things. If the Lord's talking to you, you better bring that seed right now. There's just a few more of you supposed to sow that 5,000. That's a good seed right there. God bless you, sir. God bless you. That's an awesome seed. God talking to you, you need to come. That's a good seed, sir. Tama! It's shot cut. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Favor. That's a good seed. Lift your hands, both of you. For I am the Lord thy God. I change if not. Ask me. And it's not the easy thing that you can get done. There's an anointing that just came on both of you. And the Lord said, use the anointing wisely. Ask me for the impossible and watch me work. Somebody, I wish I had some. Hey, something is moving in this house. I feel it. Woo, that's a good seed right there. Come on, somebody, open your mouth. Give God praise. That's a good seed. I heard the Lord say, I'm changing every report while she's down there. Woman of God, look at me. Look at me. Come here. There is something so incredible on your life. And this is what the battle has been about. All of the natural stuff that the enemy touched, it ain't about that stuff. That was to keep, to keep you distracted from the real thing that the enemy is after. There's an anointing in your hands. And if the enemy can stop you from praying for people and putting your hands on people, then the enemy will know that he's got you right where he wants you to keep the next part of your destiny from manifesting. The Lord says, now here's how your deliverance is going to come. He says, son, you tell her that as she's praying for her friends, even as Job prayed for his, I'm turning her captivity. Hey! on you there's a miracle right there somebody open your mouth and give God praise I feel the anointing in here that's a good 
That's a good seed right there. Shalabahosi katamanasa. Pick her up. Pick her up. Pick her up. Sheba yan sokota mansi eh. Sweetheart, put your hand on that woman of God. Yee! Fire! Oh! God Almighty, I feel this. Fire be on you! Somebody open your mouth. I feel the glory of God. It's over. Everybody shout, it's over. It's over. Let's go to Lift your hands. Here it comes. There's a glory coming. Oh my God. There's a glory coming right there. Receive it. It's on you now. I was going to lay my hands, but God said, let me touch her, son. Somebody open my... Oh, open up your mouth. Lift your hands. Bring me that bag. Bring me that bag. Shakata da da boho si katama. Open that for me. Lift your hands. The Lord spoke to me, Pastor Parsley. I was in New York and I went into a store. And the Lord said, I want you to buy every one of them. Buy every one of them. And I bought them. Took them back to my hotel, and the Lord says, put them beside the bed. So in the bag, I put them beside the bed. God woke me up through the night for the next three, four nights and said, breathe in the bag. So every time I wake up, I blow in the bag. I, I was just following the instructions. God never told me what he was going to tell me to do with them. But when I was packing to come here, the Lord said, I want you to get those similitudes of the prophet. And I want you to take them with you, he says, and every person that moves under the anointing, when I say move, he says, I want you, and I, he said, I'll show you who to give them to. He said, I want you to give them to them, and I want you to tell them to put it where they keep their bills. And when it touch the bills, supernaturally, there'll be no more bills. Uh oh, I thought I was going to get to touch him, and I couldn't touch him. Somebody open your mouth and give God praise. That's a good seed right there, sir. That's a good seed right there. Put the amount on there. Put the amount on there. Shabakosia, that's a good seed. Come here. Lift it. Lift your hands, woman of God. Oh, here comes the anointing of healing. I feel it flowing right here. Hey. Oh, everything, sweetheart, that want to mess with your mind, to want to make you think that it's an issue, the Lord says, I'm erasing it. He says, tell my daughter that every nagging, aggravating thing that comes to mess with her mind, I'm erasing that too. He said, tell her I'm rebuilding every cell, every muscle, every tissue. I'm even giving a new blood today. Somebody else. I thought I was going to touch her, but God said, let me touch her. Fire on me. My God, I feel the glory. Somebody open your mouth and give him praise. That's a good seed. Lift your hands. Lift your hands, sir. Lift your hands. The Lord told me to tell you, and I saw it. When I took the seed from your hand, I saw a house as big as this church fall on the witch. Everybody shouted, ding dong, the witch is dead. Power, oh, hoo, hoo, hoo. somebody open your mouth. Everything that's been concerning you about your health, God says, I, I just healed you. And the Lord said, tell him, touch him, touch him, touch him. And the Lord said, everything that they sent, it went back to them. Yeah. That's a good seed. Lift your hands. When it hits the bills, bills are going to be called then receipts in the name of Jesus. Somebody open your mouth. And I heard the Lord say, and in this half of your life, in this season of your lives, I'm giving you a new win to finish the assignment. 
millionaires. Somebody open your mouth and give God praise. Hallelujah. I wish somebody would shout that anointing is in here. Except that anointing is in here. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Huh? Good seat, lift your hands. Now, the Lord told me to tell you, go home, go to sleep, yeah. don't worry about it. Hallelujah. Right now, while you're standing before me, guess what's standing in your home? An angel. Yeah. Yeah. And that angel is just cleaning the house for you. Yeah. Everything that have come to try to be a disappointment and a distraction, the Lord says, tell my dear children I ran it out of their house today. Favor! That's it, I felt it when it was released. Everybody shout favor. favor. Is the Lord speaking to anybody else? I gotta move. Favor on you, you precious daughter. Favor on you, that's a good seed, mama. God bless you, young man, that's a good seed. Favor on you. Favor on you, lift your hands. Lift your hands. Look at me, sir. The Lord told me to tell you the dream that I've given you. This is the hour of manifestation. 2018 is your year. This eight month is a month of new things. Something new. Something is happening now and it's going to last forever. But the Lord said it's not even the thing that you're really concerned about. It's this call on your life that keep pulling on you. The Lord told me to tell you, I'm going to give you a sure answer. It's coming in the dream like everything else. Oh my God, I feel God in this place. Lift your hands. Fire on the both of you now. In the name of, oh, there it is right there. Somebody open your mouth and give. Ay, 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 ay. That's a good seed. What's that, John and Barbara? John and Barb, I love that. Lift your hands, Sister Barb. Lift your hands, Brother John. Somebody say, why y'all raising money? Well, it's not raising money. We're not trying to raise anything. What we're doing is leading you into harvest. And incidentally, you're in the right church because your harvest is coming from around the world. It's a world harvest. I wish I said it's a world harvest. Listen to me. The seed you've sown today into soul winning just calls God. And it's not that God forgot, but I'm going to tell you just like the Holy Spirit said. It calls God to remember his promises over your life for your latter years. I saw the earth hiccup, and when the earth hiccup, hiccup, out of the earth came finances. And I heard the Lord say, I'm causing even now the earth to help you. It's coming so plain. I'm going to cause the earth to help you. I don't know whether that's oil coming up out of the earth or whether that's gold and diamonds coming up out of the earth. But God said the earth is going to help you and you will remember misery no more. I feel God in this place. That's a good seed right there. I heard the Lord say, supernaturally, I'm casting the dead. Sweetheart, can I tell you even before I receive this seed? Can I tell you? It's going to be so big, it's going to make you laugh. Yeah. Ooh, oh, my God. Where's my little helper at? Come here, sweetheart. Lay your hands on her belly. Lay your hands right on her belly. That's a good seed right there. God bless you.
that's a good seed right there God bless you I will remember my coming the Lord spoke to me and said he said son some mornings it's been so hard for her just to get out the bed he said but I just flipped the switch today and I flipped the script come on y'all y'all what the devil thought was going to be your demise is going to be the thing that catapults you Sweetheart, let me tell you, as the prophet of God, every spirit that have come to try to bring anxiety, to try to bring you into a place of depression, a place where you second guess your God, every one of them leave you now. And I heard the Lord say, I never run the devil out without filling up my people. God says, I'm filling you up today with this new beginning. It's a new thing coming now from your God that's going to last forever. And you will remember this misery no more. Fire! Oh, there it is right there. Somebody open your mouth. Power and shock out of your belly shall flow rivers of living water. Somebody open your mouth and give it praise. It's over. Fire! Oh, take it right there. Somebody open your mouth and take it right there. It's over. Somebody clap your hands. Favor on you. My God, I feel good. Anybody else God's talking to? I got to get somewhere. Listen. If in my 15-minute presentation, the Lord speak to you. Oh my God. Pastor Parsley. Now this is different. But I just saw it. I need six chairs. That's different. Father, may he never, ever, ever experience what he's experienced the last several months. May it leave his life forever in the name of Jesus somebody open your mouth and give him praise now I just saw something in the Holy Ghost sit him right there turn him this way leave a little aisle right there yeah take it over a little bit more right there perfect oh, put it back no 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 put it right back That's it. That way. Take your seat. Come here, Lisa. I sat down there this morning and I watched you flowing under such a prophetic anointing. And the Lord says, I said, God, I said, my God, what's on her prophetically is so heavy that really, what else can we do? And here's what the Lord responded. Here's how he responded to me. He said, son, everything that the enemy has done. Come here, sir. You right there on the end of that, part, that tie. Yes, come here. Yes. I want you to stand right there. Right there. I'm prophesying to you, but I'm seeing something leap off you on him. I said, that's strange because I know her husband. But then the Lord gave me the revelation. He gave me the revelation. That, that's your brother? Okay, amen. I know Brother Germain, that's your husband. I know who I'm looking at. But I saw something. I'm ministering to you, but I, I kept seeing something leap off of her on you. I said, God, what is that? And the Lord said to me, the same prophetic is on him. He said, when you release the word on her, he said, y'all so released it on him. Now here's what the Lord said. Everything that you've suffered the last two years. In this eight month, I start a process of restoration and restitution. I will make the devil pay you back with interest. 
for what he's trying to do against you prophetically, what he's trying to do against your family, what he's trying to do against your finances. I will make it pay you back with interest. And it starts now. Oh. Fire on you. I heard the Lord said, tell them, ask me what they will, and it shall be done of me for them. He said, and don't ask for anything that you got the power to do for yourself. He says, how big do you want it? How bad do you want it? My God, I heard that word for about 50 more people. I said I heard it in here for about 50 more woman of God that's a good seed hold that say that again come here now this is her husband y'all know that y'all gotta hear this the exact same word he just spoke to my wife was the exact same word that Prashia Hilliard spoke over my life Friday night. For those that don't know who she is, she is the daughter of the Dr. Apostle Ivy Hilliard. The exact same word. Let me show you what's so interesting. Here's what's interesting to me as a prophet. What's interesting to me as a prophet is, most in generally, I speak to the husband because he's the priest of their home. Interestingly enough, in this service, God didn't have me to speak to you because he's already spoken to you. Now I know that don't mean nothing to most of y'all in here, but that let me know I'm right where I'm supposed to be. That's an incredible seed. Lift your hands. Father, do the impossible and let it happen now in Jesus' matchless name. Somebody open your mouth. Somebody open your mouth. Yes, somebody clap your hands and give God praise. That's a good seat. That's a good seat. Lift your hands. I heard the Lord say, no more. Forever. And even this that have come even upon your body. See, the devil already peeped the foul of your future. And he saw the perfect will of God for your life. He said, but I know what I'll do. I'll circumvent it by attacking her body. The Lord said, today I just healed you from the crown of your head, woman, to the very south. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hold that. 
you to hear me. The Lord spoke to me and he said, son, put six chairs down there and you tell six people that I've called them today to this sanctuary because I'm ready now to answer every prayer There's somebody watching right now. I don't know whether you're in Elkhart or whether you're in China or whether you're in wherever you are. But the Lord just spoke to me and told me to tell you, you need to get on the computer. You need to sow the seed in the church if that's where you are. You need to sow the seed today of $1,000. You got to do it right now, right now. Because there has been a spirit that have tried to keep you from possessing the magnitude of blessing that would be generational for your children and your children's children. God said the seeds you sow under this anointing, I know you've sown before, but the seeds you sow under this anointing today is going to break the hands of Dagon, going to break the legs of Dagon, and that God that have tried to exalt itself called lack, called not enough, called God said, I'll destroy it today by my anointing. Get up and sow the seed right now. There's an anointing. There's an anointing. I don't know if we have a way to know if people are sowing. We do. As you sow, they're going to bring me your name. And I'm going to put my hands on that, on your name. And I'm going to decree that what's on me be on you forever. You need to move right now. I want you to hear me. The Lord spoke to me and said, there are six people that need to wrap their faith around a $5,000 seed. Today, you're in the house and you need to come and take one of these seats and he's going to release me further as you come and obey him. There are six of you that need to do it. You need to come out of your seat, come and take a seat down here. When, when, when God speaks to you, you cannot wait. You cannot debate. You cannot procrastinate. You got to move right under that anointing. I'm waiting on you. I got I to preach something here. That's going to take about 15 minutes. That's a good seed. God bless you, precious. That's a good seed. That's a good seed. God bless all of you. That's a good seed. That's a good seed. You will in no wise lose your reward. God, I feel the anointing. I feel the anointing. I feel the anointing. I feel the anointing. Now, Father, I thank you that you have honored yes. this precious mother. Yes. We send your anointing now for a new beginning yes. to her precious family. Yes. May this daughter's life never be the same. Yes. Oh, I love you so much for this. I appreciate you for this anointing. Yeah. Do it now. In the name of Jesus, I pray. You know what I heard the Lord say, Mother? The Lord said, remind her, I haven't failed her yet. He said, tell her that her offspring is blessed and favored. Her offspring is blessed and favored. Somebody open your mouth and give him glory. anointing of the Holy Ghost, your offspring is blessed in favor. Lord is talking to you ooh, and telling you to sow the seed. It's a good seed, sir. It's a good seed, sir. The Lord is telling you to sow that $5,000 seed. Get down here now. You're supposed to sit under this anointing. That's a good seed. What do you want the Lord to do for you?
Father, I thank you today that what's on me is available to every person in this room. If they will only follow your instruction, you are a principled God. When we follow your principles, amazing things happen. I thank you today, God, that what's on me rests now upon this man. That God, he'll owe no man nothing but to love him. Yeah. I give you praise for that. Yeah. But God is only secondary to the peace of God yeah. resting on his entire family. Yeah. I, oh, there it is right there. I saw the peace. Shatalaman Sokoya. Saka. Oh my God, I'm about to be drunk down here. I feel something. Somebody open your mouth and give him praise. If God is saying to you, come, you need to come now. And I decree and declare that what's on me, it settles on you now. What God does now, this new thing that is upon us, it will last you forever. You will never go back. you never go back. There's somebody sowing. Don't you stop. Sow it. Put the thousand dollar seed in the ground. God's talking to you. He's talking to you. You need to sow it. There's somebody else that says, Prophet, I'm supposed to sow that $5,000 seed. Get down here. God's talking to you. Come. That's a good seed, precious woman of God. Your hands will never go without. In the matchless name of Jesus. There's some people she's so concerned about and she just need a move of God. I heard the Lord say, I'm breathing on your family. I'm breathing on them now. I'm breathing on them now. I'm breathing into them this brand new life. Yeah. Whew, God, I feel yeah. his glory. Yeah, there's healing also right there. It's flowing. I feel healing flowing, 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 flowing. I feel it flowing. All in your chest area, all through your arteries, ventricles. I feel the healing virtue. Online. So, you're a part of the World Harvest Church online church. You need to sow. I heard the Lord saying, tell them if they'll trust me under this anointing, they'll never have to go back to that. Touch your neighbor in here and say, I'm not going back to that. I want you to say it with some strength. Come on, say, I'm not going back to that. Come on, say it again. I'm not going back to that. Oh, my God. Heal right there. Heal now. Heal of my kosia Let doctors be amazed and astonished. I curse it in the name of Jesus. From the crown of your head, precious mother, to the very soul of your feet be healed now in Jesus' mighty name. Oh! Say that again. I said I wrote this check before I came so I know I'm in the right place at the right time. And I know I'm in the right place at the right time. Come on somebody, open your mouth and give God praise. That's a good seed right there. That's a good seed right there. Carly, you are sowing, oh, you just sold online. And the Lord spoke to me. And he said, tell you, I just cleared the path for you now. I just cleared the path that your heart's desire can be manifested. You've been blessed because you've had to force your way through. But God says because you sold in this moment that he's taking the toil out of it and you won't have to force your way now god says i'm gonna pick you up and carry you in the way yes. somebody I, yes. heard god, yes. I heard god i heard god i heard god i heard him 
there's somebody else supposed to be seated right there you're supposed to wrap your faith around a five thousand dollar seat and sow it i am anointed to get people out of debt i am anointed to bring people to their harvest that's my secondary anointing my first anointing is to turn people's heart to God and back to their leader my secondary anointing is supernatural debt cancellation how is it gonna happen supernaturally God did it for me supernatural so that I could carry this mantle of the supernatural you can go home tonight and by this time tomorrow things be so much different yes 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 Hallelujah. That's what happened for me. God speaking. God speaking. There's one more person. At least that's supposed to be down here. Where are you? That's a good seed. God bless the both of you. That's a good seed. That's a good seed. God bless you. That's a good seed. God bless you. You will in no wise lose your reward. Marion, I just heard the Lord say that I have caused the works of your hands yeah. to multiply in this hour. Yes. But greater than the works of your hands, Marion, will be the work of your mouth. Yes. For I just touched your lips, yes. saith the Lord. And you'll receive more before the year is over by speaking yes, oh. than you could ever receive through the working of your hands. Yes. Though I blessed your hands. Yes. I need somebody to open your mouth because that, that anointing is in here. That anointing is in here. That anointing is in here. Hallelujah. You will in no wise. Good seed that I Rest in me, saith the Lord, and trust me, sweetheart. Trust me. Even as you sowed the seed today, the Lord said, I want you to walk out of this room trusting me, yeah. knowing that everything is not going to be all right, but that everything is already all right. Yeah. God just closed the deal for you. Come on, somebody, open. Yeah. Open your mouth and give God praise in here. Where's my little helper? Where's my little helper? I want you to grab her and just squeeze the glory of God into her. There it is, sweetheart. Somebody shout. Favor. Favor is upon you now. Oh, oh. Be careful what you put your hands on. If you don't want it, don't touch it. Because there's an anointing on you now to receive. You've given, now receive. Fire on you. Why don't you take some of that? Fire on you. I love you, said the Lord. I love you, saith the Lord. I love you so much. And I have not forgotten about you. Hallelujah. Son, I'm on the move for you now. I will honor and answer every prayer. Yeah. It is my will that you be perfect and entire. Yeah. Wanting for nothing. I feel for a strong nothing. anointing down here. Favor be upon you. Favor be upon you. Ooh. Favor be upon you. Let me tell you what I heard the Lord say. Let me tell you what I heard the Lord say. The Lord said, Tell them I, I'm stretching them yeah. in this season. And if they will have faith enough to allow me to stretch them, and then ask me for the hard thing. 
He says, if you can have faith enough to ask me, I'm God and I'm big enough to make it come to pass. You know what that seed just did? The Lord showed me. That seed stretched you. Your seed in sowing is a type of asking. But now God says, I tell them I want them to put a name to it. And if they got faith enough to ask me, I'm God and I got power enough to make it good. Go your way. God bless you. God bless you, sir. That's a good seed right there. Is God speaking to anybody else? You need to come. People are sowing online. People are sowing in Elkhart. There are two people. The Lord just spoke to me. Elkhart, listen to me. There are two people in Elkhart. You're supposed to sow a $5,000 seed. You need to get it in the ground right now. You need to hear God and get the seed in the ground. Matter of fact, you already sold one, you need to sow the other four, that's for one of you. In Elkhart, God said there two of you need to sow this seed. Oh my God. There's a spirit, I want everybody to hear me in this room and by television, by computer, I want you to hear me. There's a spirit loose called distraction yeah. called frustration that's what distraction brings with it that's his twin wow. that's good, sir. but the Lord just told me to tell you if you'll trust me and put the seed in the ground there are numbers of you that are in this church auditorium and watching around the world you need to make today count and while you're in this prophetic moment of seed sowing. Some of you said, Prophet, I ain't never seen nothing like that in my life. I've never seen a man of God stand up and couldn't even preach because of the flow of God's anointing as it relates to the economy of our life. I've never seen that. Well, let me tell you something. God created a moment for you to be blessed. I have note after note, scripture after scripture, but God created a moment for you to be blessed. You better hear me, Columbus. God said, tell them I've heard their prayers. And today I've sent them an instruction. I've sent them an instruction. That if they will just trust me. I'm going to show them supernaturally. That I'm God and I can do anything. And I can bring them out. 2018 is still your year. Eight. 818. 818. This is that week. Yes. Some of you going to be blessed by 8818. But for as many of us that will receive what's on Apostle Parsley, we're all going to be blessed by 88918. Because what we receive on the 18th, on the 8th, what we receive on August 8th. There's almost like simultaneously as the word and the anointing is released on 8 8 18, that in the same night, stuff gonna shift while we sleep. Yes. And somebody gonna get up and their life is never gonna be the same because you dared to trust God. Get the seed in the ground. There are numbers of you watching that if I had a thousand, I'd show it. I don't have that. But this is my very best. Numbers of people who came down and gave us an envelope today. There was not a thousand dollars in the envelope. They gave their best seed because they recognized that there was a moment that they had to maximize. They stepped in the water while the water was troubled. There'll not be enough pens and paper to write what God's getting ready to do for them and their bloodline. You need to sow right now while the water's moving. There's a prophetic seed that God's calling for everywhere in this church. He's calling for it on other campuses. He's calling for it online. And he's going to keep calling for it until you receive the call and do it. 
because God can't do no more for you than you allow him to do. There is an anointing on this. There's an anointing on my life. And if you'll trust me, if you'll trust the God that sent me, your life is never going to be the same ever again. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Jesus. Somebody shout amen. 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 I want y'all to hear me down here because I heard the Lord say something. Elkhart has already sown. There's somebody that just released a $5,000 seed from Elkhart. There's one more person. God's waiting on you. You need to, you need to trust him. Hmm. You need to trust him. I want y'all to hear me sitting down here. The Lord spoke to me, woman of God, sir. The Lord spoke to me. And he told me to get these coins. And he said, son, whoever you give them to, this is what he told me when I was packing. Whoever you give them to, he said, tell them to take it and put it where their concerns are. If there's a child that's not saved and you have a picture of that child, put this on top of the picture. If you have bills, I want to just keep calling them receipts. But put this where your bills are. Create an altar. Create a special place. And put this similitude of the prophet where your bills are. I decree and declare unto you, God's going to make you debt free. He's going to pay off every debt. That's what's on me. I can decree that. I can declare it. It's where I live. And your faith today and your confidence in your God has called a moment that's going to last you a lifetime. I have not forgotten you, said the Lord. I know exactly where you are. It's not just the money. There's a deeper call. I need you to move for me, God. The Lord said, the seed that you sold today in the soul winning, it's a generational seed. It's not just for you. It's for those that you're concerned about. The Lord told me to tell every one of you told me to tell every one of you that this is the season of the greatest breakthrough of your life. Yes. Yes. It's breaking through. Your miracle is breaking. You better hear me, Elkhart. I got to go to Elkhart. I got to go to Elkhart. Your miracle is breaking through. You need to hear Prophet Burroughs. Your miracle is breaking through. touched your hand and the Lord said, he said, son, to her is not just the money, but the desire of her heart is to see her family come to know Christ. The Lord said, because you've sown into this World Harvest Church, this breakthrough ministry, souls around the world, the reciprocating of that to you will be you will see every one of them saved. I see addictions being broken down here. I'm not going to go into Yasabohoya. But I see addictions being broken because you're sowing a seed into a ministry that's reaching around the world that when people see Rod Parsley breakthrough ministry their lives are changed forever. That happens because your seed is in the ground. The Lord says, but like a boomerang, what happens and what you've made happen for others, I'm now causing it to happen for you and your family. Yes. Yes. Addictions are being broken of all sorts. Yes. You will never be the same. In the name of Jesus. I heard the Lord say, I'm a, my peace is a perfect peace. And today I release unto you perfect peace. Everything that's broken, everything that's missing, everything that's lacking today. Today, I'm making it everywhere at home. Everybody shout, I'm being made whole. whole. 
Father, though the seed leave their hand, it will never leave their life. Yeah. It goes into their future. Pulls something out of their then and brings it into their now that they'll use as a leaping board. Yes. It's already promised to you. Yeah. The Lord says, I'm just going into your future, which is really your before. And I'm giving you what I promised you before the world was framed. It's yours now. Hmm. And Father, I decree and declare no more debt. No more debt. Sir, may every debt be canceled yeah. in the name of Jesus. Yeah. May they never know lack scarcity, recession, not enough. May they never see it again in their lives forever. In Jesus' mighty name. Whew. Somebody say, well, that looks foolish. Well, it always looks foolish till the miracle show up. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Ah, I said it always looks foolish till the miracle shows up. You know, I heard the Lord say, this seed you sown today is a continuation of a Christian lifetime of sowing. It's a continuation. Yeah. He says, but tell her, I'm fixing her putting her in a place yeah. that anytime she want to sow 100,000, 250,000, a yeah. million, yeah. 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 you're going to be able to do it. And God says, I'm doing it because through the years, you've taught yourself how to trust me. Favor! Hey! Yes, Lord. My God Almighty. Everybody shout again, say favor. favor. Say it's on me. It's on me. Hmm? Yes, sitting for Pastor Parsley. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. You know, it's good to sit in proxy. Because it's too late now, it's on you too. Your obedience just got you blessed. <laughs> Your obedience yeah. just brought you into a blessed place. Hallelujah. My God about it. Somebody open your mouth and say something to God. We bless you. Hey. Hallelujah. Fear not. For I will do great and mighty things in the midst of you. Prayers have been heard. Prayers have been received. Now saith I the Lord your God. I'll bring the manifestation. Prayers that you pray for your pastor. Prayers that you pray for your pastor's family. This is the hour now that you're going to see with your own eyes the manifestation. One prayer answered is the prayer of strength. The other prayer is a prayer of financial increase. God says with your own eyes and even through your own hands, yeah. you shall see yeah. the answer to many prayers. Yeah. Somebody open your mouth. Listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. Where's my bag? I just sent something. Where's my bag? Hallelujah. I said I sent something. Can y'all get a prophet just a moment or two? Hallelujah. I sent something. Everybody shout the prophet got something in his bag. May you never forget this day. Yeah. May you never forget the day of favor. Hallelujah. Being in the right place at the right time.
creates a moment of favor. Ah. Then I look at you and, you know, there's such an anointing on your life and God says, I want you to stop dumbing it down. I just have to say it just like that. Stop minimizing what I put on you. Don't look at their faces. You say what I say. You do what I tell you to do. And you're going to see increase even on this house because you've honored me and obeyed my voice. Somebody open your mouth. you to hear me. Brother Chad, I want you to take this for the two people that sold in Elkhart. Okay? Make sure they get that. I want y'all to hear me because there's an anointing in this place. Mighty anointing in this place. I want every one of you at your seat to get a prophetic offering right now. Get the envelope out of the seat pocket in front of you. Touch that lady in the red right there until I said come here real quickly. The lady in the red. Yes, you. Come here. I'm done, I promise you. I couldn't even preach. I'm going to try to preach. I want to preach real bad. This message has kept me up for the last three days. I was up at six o'clock this morning trying to put it together. Touch that guy in that sky blue color right there. Tell him I said, come here. You, sir. Yeah, come here. Lift your hands because there's a healing Jesus that's about to visit you. There's a healing Jesus that's visiting you. The Lord says, tell my daughter I have not forgotten about her. Have not forgotten about her. Tell her that what she has seen that wants to bring anxiety and want to bring fear. He said, tell her by a miracle I'm healing her. But then I require that she works with me to stay healed. Fire be upon you. There it is, the healing. Let her down so God can operate on her. Something happening in her body. In the Namansi Atalabakoya. Somebody open. Oh, there it is right there. Yeah, that's the healing right there. Favor of fire on you. There it is. Where's my brother? Take this and put it where your bills are. The Lord told me to tell you I have not forgotten about you. I'm on the move for you. And what you wouldn't be able to do for your own life in 20 years, I'm going to do it in 24 months. Yeah. Oh! Hallelujah. God, I felt that fire just shoot right through my arm. Woo. It's the fire of God. The fire of God. Lift your hands, Brother Chad. I heard the Lord say, tell you that I'm opening doors that no man can close. Yeah. Pastors will go to sleep and dream about you. And say, where is that young man? Where is Chad? They're going to sin for you, Chad. There's an anointing in you and on you. That the Lord says, I've got to get to the nations. Chad, all of these years have been years of training. And God said, because you took him at his word because you sacrifice many things this is the hour that I will show no restraint in blessing you and in favoring you man you gonna go to bed I said you gonna go to bed and you gonna wake up in the middle of the night speaking in tongues shaking and quaking and receiving the word of the Lord your ministry just became global Lift your hands. Here it comes. Pastor Parsley, you want to put your hands on him with me? Hear that a man suo call man 
your ministry just went global fire Ooh, somebody shout I heard it somebody shout somebody shout come here come 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 lift your hands fear not there's a song that is saying what God has for me it is for me I have churches and groups of people that don't nobody know about where thousands upon thousands gather and I'm going to send them to you and send you to them prepare yourself now because I tell you of a thing before it happens you must pray and ask God for wisdom and how to package his word for the secular there is something that the world is looking for and if we give it to them looking like church or present it looking like church they won't bite it but if you package it looking like self helps or if you package it looking like wisdom for growth they'll bite it and then you just introduce them to Jesus I've called you for such a time as this and the way that I'm going to use you and the doors that I have to, that I have opened for you it won't look like other preachers doors but there'll be doors that'll sustain you into the multiplied millions. Get ready, set yourself, because this is the hour that I promised you years ago that you would come into. You've been patient, but now the door opens. <laughs> Somebody open your mouth and give God praise. Listen, I'm almost there. Saints, it's critical. I saw Brother Brinson bringing tithe to the church, to his apostle, to his pastor. That were like 10,000, 50,000, 100,000, 200,000. I saw it. And the Lord says, money not going to be an issue for them. Amen. He says, I remember when God made me debt free, I was walking around one day and I'm shaking my change in my pocket and had some money in there and I'm walking around and I had my head up in there and I was really excited. Brother Fias, Fias, and I, I was just, I was excited because look what the Lord has done. I was in debt and he made me debt free and I had some money. For once I had some money. And the Lord spoke to me and said, you're not there yet. I said, Satan, the Lord rebuke you. I am there. You must don't know where the Lord brought me from. The Lord said, son, cut it out. He said, you know my voice. He said, you're not there yet. We have to be careful, saints, that when God start raising us up, that we don't get beside ourselves. I warn you in this house today, you're about to see something you've never seen. You're about to have what you've never had. You're about to go where you've never been. And as God raises you up, you will be a fool to jump ship. It went straight over somebody's head. You don't leave the blessed place when you get blessed. Lift your hands, young man. There's an anointing on your life. There's an anointing on your life. 
And the Lord told me to tell you, allow me to have my perfect work in your life. My perfect work. You got time to preach. You got time to do all this church stuff. The Lord says, get your, your life in order as it relates to the secular. Finish what you started. If it's schooling, finish it. Don't get caught up with these crazy young people that all they want to do is go to church and preach and go, go. No, don't get caught up with that group. That's not the group you're supposed to be with. Don't get caught up with that group. You got time to do that. Finish what you start. Enjoy Jesus, love the Lord, yes, but don't go before your time. If you will enjoy the journey that God has you on, you'll have no regrets. I know preachers that started out young got a bunch of regrets. A bunch of them because they gave all their time, all their youth. The Lord told me to tell you, if you walk with me, stay with me, and finish what I put in your heart. Finish it. You got time to be a household name, and your name will be a household name. There's a unique anointing on you. And God said, you'll be perfect and entire. You see this tie I have on? This is an all nations tie. I see God sending you to all nations. I thought World Harvest would shout. <laughs> Wealth and riches are in your house. That's what the Lord told me to tell you. Y'all got your seed? Y'all ready to give? like a Bentley. I'm getting ready to see something I've never seen. What about debt-free homes in multiple locations? anointing down here. Favor. 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 Yay. Favor. Shia Ma. Oh, favor. Favor. Listen. Listen. I want you to bring that offering and put it on the altar right here. I really felt impressed of God when every eye on me don't miss this. There's a word in my belly. My flight leaves tonight at 6 o'clock. But I want you to hear me. It's a good seed. The Lord bless you. Whatever I own, they don't miss this. But I just received clearance from Pastor Parsley that tonight at 7 o'clock that if I wanted to tonight at 7 o'clock I'm going to come back and preach this word come on I said tonight at 7 o'clock I'm going to come back and preach it Listen to me. Now, yes.
there's a specific instruction every eye on me. I want everybody to stop just one moment. Shh. With every eye on me. Because we just shifted. There's a specific instruction that the Lord just gave me. And he said, son, if you'll do it my way, incredible increase will come and he showed me that I was supposed to do something tonight you need to do what I'm going to do I just moved into my new home another new home about 7,000 square feet and I, I want to go back home because we've only been in there three days well my family's been there three days I slept in my bed two nights and then I had to come here so I missed the third night last night so I told them when they booked my flight get me home quick I'm sure my wife and kids are watching right now But the Lord gave me instructions in that moment and he said son tell them if they will make time I want y'all to call everybody you can saints this is something we are right in the middle of revival most churches wouldn't know revival if it came and sat on them but pastor parsley senses the spirit of revival oh my wife said to me a couple days ago, Pastor Parsley, she's watching right now. Where's Pastor Parsley? She's watching right now. My wife said this to me, and I just looked at her straight. She said, honey, when you go to World Harvest Church, you're not just going to preach Sunday morning. You might as well take extra clothes. get in that bed but she know the Holy Ghost <laughs> that's amazing she said revival's going on there yes, call her right now she would tell you that she said revival she says you probably will end up staying I said coming home says you don't want to miss tonight you don't want to miss it let me get out of me what I know God now God just put it all in motion because God wants me to preach this word come back tonight and let me get this out of me on you are you hearing me and you gonna be glad you did and with that being said come and bring your offerings and let me pray for you father I thank you now for every person under the sound of my voice that's moving prophetically they're prophesying about their own lives as they give something that they've never seen they're about to see I honor you for this now in the name of Jesus in the name that's above every name father there's somebody here they didn't plan on giving what they've given this morning but you they heard you and they sold they followed you now sir may the seed that they sold turn into a perpetual right now harvest I give you praise and honor and glory for this in the name of Jesus oh my God I give you praise for this while others are scraping the bottom of the meal barrel. Never let theirs run dry. Touch that young man right there. Father, I pray in Jesus' mighty name. Never let theirs run dry in the name of Jesus. Come on, somebody, open your mouth and give God praise. Come on, open your mouth and give God praise. Touch the young man. Come here, young man. Yes, yes, come. Father, I give you praise.
praise. In Jesus' name. Come on, clap your hands and give God praise. You better believe it. You better believe it. As we're giving, let's stand. Come on. We're in revival, everybody. Let's praise our Jesus. Come on, praise him. Praise him. Thank you, Jesus. 